Hello everyone, welcome to our new video of mathematical programming in Python series. In this video, we will look at one of the fundamental concepts of mathematical programming, which is called quadratically constrained quadratic programming. Let us start with today's topic. Quadratically constrained quadratic programming is solving a mathematical optimization problem that involves quadratic functions in both objective and constraints. Recall that Quadratic programming has been widely used since its development in 1950s as it can accurately model many real-world problems. Quadratic programming is widely used in the optimization of financial portfolios, image and signal processing, regression or scheduling in chemical plants. The problem formulation is the following. Suppose that we have an n-dimensional vector of x. Our problem is to minimize x transpose qx plus q transpose x plus c subject to x transpose qi plus q plus q qi transpose times x plus c less than or equal to b. Note that c is an n-dimensional vector, q and qi are symmetric matrices and q and qi are n-dimensional vectors and b is an vector. We have defined our general formulation. Now we can write down an example model and code it in Python using duciplex. Suppose that we have a model and in this model we have a minimization problem where our, ob our objective function is x square plus 2y square plus 1 over half z square. Additionally, we have constraints where the first constraint is x squared greater than or equal to 1, second constraint is y squared is greater than or equal to 1, and the last constraint is z squared plus y squared less than or equal to 5. We have also lower bounds for x and y, which is 0. Additionally, we have an integrality constraint for y and binary constraint for z. Let us start with coding. First, we need to import our package, as you all know. The process is pretty similar to our previous videos. If you haven't installed Cplex and do Cplex package in Python, you can see that video using the link above. Second, we create a model using model function and name our model quadratic. Next, we will define our decision variables where x is a continuous decision variable with a lower bound 0, y is an integer decision variable with a lower bound 0, and last, z is a binary decision variable. In step 4, we will add our constraints, which are x square greater than or equal to 1, y square greater than or equal to 1, and last, z square plus y square less than or equal to 5. Next step is to define our objective function, which is x square plus 2y square plus half of z square, and we set our aim as minimization by writing min in set objective function. Our last step is the solving the model. Before solving, we can write print information function to see how is our model. As you see on the screen, our model, named as quadratic, has three variables, where one, is, one of them is binary, and one of them is integer, and one of them is continuous. And we have three constraints, where all of them are quadratic. And our objective function is to minimize the quadratic function. So the, our problem type is mixed integer quadratic constraint programming. When we call solve function, then our model is solved. And by using print solution function, we can see the objective value and x and y value. So the output shows the objective function value, that's 5, and the values of the decision variables as x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. Suppose that we want to add a new constraint and update our model. We can do this by using add function as you want to add a new constraint to the R model. 
suppose that we are going to add a constraint, a quadratic constraint that is x squared greater than or equal to y squared plus z squared. Again, we write this by using add function. And then our model is updated. Then we can call the solve function. When we call the solve function, the model is solved. And as you see on the output, our objective function value is 8 and values x equal to 2, y equal to 2. And we can see the same stuff when we use print solution function, where our objective function is 8, x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 2. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.